Hi, in this video we're going to go ahead and conclude building the home page by adding one more visualization. That is an area chart or line chart. Okay, so let's begin. Again, I'm in the Power BI cloud web application or Power BI service application. I'm in my account. I click on my project. Brings me to preview mode. You can see again, I have the two visualizations I just created. So we're going to have one more visualization down here. I'm going to go ahead and click on edit. And we're going to go to visualizations, build visualization. I'm going to kind of drag my mouse and here it is area chart. I'll add area chart down here. I will make it the same width of the page. Okay, so now we need a couple of variables. Okay, so we need our X axis, which is week. So we have that. And usually an area chart or a line chart is like a time series chart, like a week, a day, month. And then you're measuring something by that. All right, so we're going to click on week. And then we're going to go ahead and enter why we want to view, we want to view by week what our weekly hours viewed was okay so i'm going to click on that as our y so it's going to give us a sum um if i click this drop down here on week it shows me all my 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 date hierarchy i'm going to click and click it again and now it shows it broken down for me okay for whatever reason <laughs> it works that way all right so let's do this okay let's do a few things here so now we're going to make it look more professional i'm going to click on the format your visualization let's first of all format our x axis um we don't want to change the range we'll keep the range continuous values again we will use the same fonts and we'll make it eh, just a little larger for our viewers and we're going to go ahead and change the color we'll use the blue okay and um we're going to go ahead and put the title as uh what's called the week of dot 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 because that's how our data is broken out and again we can even change the font and size and color of our title okay great we have that let's focus our efforts now on the y-axis i'll click here we don't need to change the range the range is dynamic we'll go ahead and click on values again same font and we'll change that to our blue and then i'm going to show the decimal places over here i'm going to show um, billions two decimal places and we're going to change the title instead of saying we'll say total weekly hours viewed okay and we'll again change the font family font size font color of our y-axis title okay so great now let's do a few more changes this one's pretty straightforward um we're gonna the lines that will keep the lines uh the same no changes here. We can actually change the line width. We have a three right now. We could change it to like a five, make it a little darker. Um, shade area will keep it blue. Just for you know, you could change again any color you want for your particular application. We'll click the. We'll turn the markers on because now it shows us these markers. And again, let's see what we can set on the markers. We could change the shape. I'll, I like to keep a circle. Maybe we'll make the markers like a size six, or we'll do a seven. Make them a little larger. Okay, you keep the colors the same, no changes there. Data labels, let's turn on our data labels. So you show the data labels, again, we can go here. Um, position, let's try to do it above. Okay, so that so the, you can kind of see the, um, the total hours viewed by week showing up on the uh, top of the, of the um, line and Let's see what else we could do here. Oh, oh, let's go down here and change the values again. I like to set those to, again, make sure they default to billions. Two decimal places. We'll keep this a black. Same font. And make this a little bit larger. Okay, great. So we have that. And then we're going to do one more final thing. I'll go to general. And I will change two things. I'll change the title to say, let's see what our business requirements document shows us. It says weekly hours viewed by week of. Okay, we can do that. Weekly 
hours viewed. Any single quotes. Okay, and we'll go here. Get font, font size, font family, font size, and font color. So now we have weekly hours viewed by week of, okay? And one thing I also like to change here is again, you know, we can change, we showed this in an earlier video, to tool tips, okay? Pretty simple, we'll change the, again, the font to the same font family, nothing new here. Uh, we'll change the color to white because we're gonna change the background to a different color than black. We'll go back here, we'll refer to our reference guide here. Green. So now watch what happens when I, I'm going to obviously save my work. And now when I mouse over each of the points on the uh, visualization here, you can see it shows the week of like June 6th for 2022, and then it shows the sum of the hours view. So there you have it. Okay, so that is the final visualization for our homepage. Thank you for watching this video.